Done. Welcome to another video. Uh, just doing some shop upgrades at the moment. Some things that I got. Got some air fittings. Got a uh, triple end. I got a nice OSHA appliant blow gun. Um, just because why not. And then I got one of these like 20 piece uh, air sets so I can use them in different places around the shop. I already got one on my uh, workbench. But it goes full. It goes full beans all the time, so that's why I got the uh, one that kind of, uh, as a, um, what is that called? It has a Venturi in it, I think. That's what makes it OSHA appliant, the Venturi. This one, actually, I don't know if it does. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is right there. It's, when it blows out, it sucks in more air, so you reduce the pressure and increase flow. So that's what that's for. Yep, just figured I'd grab some of those for the air fittings over there, so when I'm working up my machines, I can have a low pressure or high flow, low pressure air. Then I got some of these cheap Harbor Freight squeeze clamps, just because uh, I needed some the other day, and the ones I had before were all gone. More importantly, in this video, I'm going to be installing some of these parts racks on the wall, so we'll get to that. Alright, so here's the wall where these, this stuff's going to be mounted on. We've got to mount these stripping, stripping clip things on. I'm going to be using these screws. They're, uh, they're a little long, but they're really only they're the shortest screws that I have, and they have that white coating on them. So, so what I'm going to do is take two of these. Set them down on this metal uh, baseboard stuff, whatever it's called. Eyeball center. Just like that.
we go. There's all uh, 40 of them. I think there's 40, something like that. All nice and tidy. Now I just got to fill them up with stuff, which I'll think I think I'll do later. And my plan is to uh, add some sort of shelving down below. I might add more of these that come down a little, a little bit more, and then have a, a little like shallow shelving unit for uh, bigger boxes of screws and other hardware. And then making some sort of structural door with like a cast or something that swing that pivots out this way. Um, and the inside will have clamps and stuff, and then the outside will have a charging station for all of my batteries and uh, cordless tools. And so that's pretty much all that this will be is just hardware, and then on the outside will be uh, the outside will be the, the cordless tools.